This is an easy question, a GMAT data sufficiency practice question. Classify this one as a 600 level question from the topic percentages. If a salesman received a commission of 3% of the sales that he booked in a month, what was the sales book by the salesman in the month of November 2003? We'll come to the statements in a while. Let's answer the three customary questions. Right? The first one, what kind of an answer will this question fetch? What is the sales? So an answer to this question is going to be a value. The second question is, when is the data sufficient? For all value questions, the data is sufficient if you're able to come up with a unique answer. That's the operative word. So when is the data not sufficient? The answer is not unique. What do we mean by answer is not unique? If we get two values, I'll say that the sales could be 500,000 or 200,000, then the data is not sufficient. Or I don't have information at all to find out even a single value, then the data is not sufficient. What do we know from the question stem? This key data that we know from the question stem is that this person earns a commission of 3% of the sales each month. Now let's step into statement 1, evaluate statement 1 alone and see whether that is sufficient. Start with statement 1. This is what statement 1 is. The sales booked by the salesman in the month of November 2003 minus the commission was $245,000. So sales after subtracting the commission is $245,000. What is the percentage commission? The commission earned by this person is 3% of the sales. So sales minus 3% of sales is equal to $245,000. That's what it basically pans out to. Which means that 97% of the sales booked is equal to $245,000. Can we find out 100% of the sales booked? Certainly yes. Only thing is, don't waste time trying to find what that value is. We are not doing a problem solving question. In data sufficiency, all that is needed is to figure out whether the answer is going to be unique. If 97% is equal to $245,000, 100% is a unique value. So statement 1 alone is sufficient to answer the question. Statement 1 alone is sufficient. What all can we eliminate? We can eliminate three answer options, B, C and E. It is down to A or D. Let's evaluate statement 2 alone. If 2 alone is sufficient, we will go with D. If 2 alone is also two alone is not sufficient, then we will go with A. Let's look at statement 2. Selling price of the sales book by the salesman in the month of November 2003 was 125% of the original purchase price of $225,000. So we know the cost was that was paid is $225,000. Selling price is 125% of the cost. So the sales value is 125% or 1.25 times this $225,000. As much as we did not compute what 100% was, knowing that 97% is equal to $245,000, we are not going to find this answer. It's not a problem solving question. All that we need to know is that this answer is unique. 1.25 times 225,000 is a unique value. So statement 2 alone has given us a unique answer. At the end of evaluating statement 1, we were left with A or D because statement 1 was sufficient. Now that 2 is also sufficient, let's eliminate answer option A. Choice D is the correct answer to the question. Before you leave, two things. Sign up as a trial user at wzkwo.in slash core. So one of the most comprehensive online GMAT course. Get started with a free topic, statistics and averages. Build momentum to your GMAT preparation. Subsequently, pay up and unlock the remaining topics. Lastly, subscribe to the channel youtube.com slash bizako and spread the word among your friends who are preparing for GMAT. You may also choose to join this channel as a member for a small monthly fee and enjoy member-only perks that come with it and will help you boost your GMAT preparation.